Hi, I'm Paul Goddard, clinical hypnotherapist and master practitioner of neurolinguistic programming. I want to share with you one of my favourite poems, and for ages I used to go around with this poem in my pocket, and like everybody else, sometimes you forget, and you start not doing those things that really make a big difference in your life. This poem was originally called Thinking, however, people tend to know it today as the man who thinks he can, and I've started carrying it around with me, and I'd like to pull it out and read it to you now. It's by Walter D. Wintle. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but think you can't, it's almost a cinch, you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world, you'll find. Success begins with a person's faith. It's all in the state of mind. For many a race is lost before even a step is run, and many a coward fails before even his work's begun. Think big and your deeds will grow, think small and you'll fall behind. Believe you can and you will, it's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think to rise. You've got to believe in yourself before you can win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the strongest or fastest man. But sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. If you were to think like this, that self-development is like having a fridge and that fridge you have to keep stock full of food you don't have a fridge and suddenly think to yourself well I'm hungry now I might fill it so it's those moments when you feel happiness and a sense of joy of life and feel like getting up in the morning it's at those points that if you look into NLP or any self-development tools and techniques that's the time when you really should be doing it over and over again to build yourself up for those moments when you're not feeling quite so good. I guess even people like the Dalai Lama or many self-help gurus in the world have their days where they're not feeling so great. I know I have. I know what it's like for you and everybody else to wake up in the morning and get those feelings of just shock just coming, coming awake and thinking, oh gosh, I've got to do this, or just the feelings of sometimes not feeling that you're, you're good enough. We all have those feelings. But if you really think about that it's just your thinking, it's got nothing to do with anything else but your thinking. It's not what happens to you, it's how you react to what's happened to you that makes the difference. I've had many of moments in my life where I've been really proud of myself and I thought I've achieved great things. I've also had many moments where I haven't maybe done the work that I'm supposed to. But each and every day I make sure that I improve, that I get better. And even when you improve and get better, sometimes you'll find those things that you haven't done with inside yourself, those foundations that you haven't created strong enough that will cause you to slip. We live in a life that's so busy and I know from personal experience that sometimes because you live in those busy lives you've got to make decisions in a second and you can panic and you can make poor decisions and sometimes you can really upset people even though you really didn't want to do that at all. Just by stopping, just by thinking to yourself I'm just going to stop, I know I live in a busy world and it doesn't have to be a long time you need to stop but if you just go, I'm going to go away, I'm going to think properly now about this. Do some deep breathing. Really see the situation from what's called a meta position. So you're looking out of that position at yourself where you are in your life now and those changes that you can make. And when you do that, when you actually take that time to stop, you can think clearly. You can think you can. I'm going to read that poem one more time and when I do so I want you this time to really feel the words. 
and get inside you what the writer really intended. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost a cinch, you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world you find. Success begins with a person's faith. It's all in the state of mind. For many a race is lost before even a step is run. And many a coward fails before his work is begun. Think big and your deeds will grow. Think small and you'll fall behind. Believe you can and you will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think to rise. You've got to believe in yourself before you can win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the strongest or fastest man, but sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about how hypnotherapy can help change your life and what tools and techniques you can use to really make your mind grow with neuro-linguistic programming, then please check out my website www.paulgoddardnlp.co.uk. You can also like me on Facebook, Paul Goddard NLP and Hypnotherapy. Thank you for watching.